Okay guys, now one of the comments or requests that I get very often is something to the effect of, hey Max, show us all of your guitars. I wanna see your entire collection. Well, as much as I would love to do that, I have, I think, you know, well over 40 guitars, like, I don't know, somewhere between 40 and 50, and I don't have all of them, you know, here with me at one time. Some of them are in a storage unit, uh, blah, 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 that kind of thing. I can't do that. It's just, it's too much work. I don't like to work too hard. But today, I do want to do a video a little bit like that. And one of the brands that I have checked out a lot is the Wolf brand, or also the AIO brand. Now, these two brands kind of get lumped together because if you buy one of these guitars, you're going to get it from the all-in-one guitars, AIO, shop that's right here in sunny Los Angeles, California. Now, if you look behind me, I have actually my entire collection here minus one guitar. I have eight guitars right here. So today I want to look at all of them and tell you guys about some of my favorites. Okay, now let's start with the guitar that kind of kicked off this whole thing here. This red, uh, you know, flame, transparent red WLP. This was the first Wolf guitar that I got. And it turned out to be, of course, just an awesome guitar. I've used it for recording. I've had it for, for a couple of years now. It has held up really, really well. Great specs on this guitar. It's got a really nice solid weight to it. Of course, it's a mahogany body, mahogany neck. Nice uh, transparent red flame top there. Nice ebony fretboard, Grover tuners, the works, right? Great guitar. So this was the first one I got. And part of me wants to say that this is my favorite because it's the first one that, you know, it kind of kicked things off. But if I'm being totally honest, the newer version of that same guitar, the 2019 version, uh, I actually like better than the original one. Part of it is the, uh, the sort of visual look has been upgraded in my opinion. I really like this burst finish. Also the lettering on the pickups has been removed. And this guitar, I think it actually even plays slightly better than the original model, although I'm not really sure why, uh, you know, because I think the, the dimensions and so forth are pretty much the same. But this is absolutely one of my favorites here. This is probably one of my go-to guitars if I'm just going to randomly pick one up. This is one that gets a lot of playing time. Okay, now sandwiched between those two WLPs is the AIO ASG. Of course, a really nice SG style guitar. This one has a really uh, great aggressive tone to it. It's, a, it's quite a heavy guitar, although they do have some other versions of this guitar, which I believe the weight is a little bit less on here. But this is just a really great, solid, go-to rock guitar. Same pickups here from the WLPs from the Wolf brand, but I think there's something about the body shape or the, uh, you know, the dimensions of the neck or something like that that gives it just a, a slightly more biting tone to it. Now, if we keep going down the line here, I've got two guitars which are pretty similar, and these are the KLP model guitars. This guitar plays so, so well, and this is actually another one of the earlier ones that I got. I got this, I believe, just after the W. LP. And this is one that, you know, if I'm being totally honest, I don't pick it up that often. And I've thought a few times about passing it on to someone else, giving it uh, to a buddy of mine or, or a family member or something like that. But then when I pick it up, you know, to, to make sure it's okay, when I think about sending it to them, I sit down and I play it and then I can't let it go. So it definitely uh, is one that just keeps staying in my collection. And this other one here, the other KLP 45, which I have to say uh, I love even more because it has the same playability of that other one, but I love the looks on this. It's got the transparent blue finish. It's a semi hollow body. You got these great F holes here, and I love the blue and gold uh, color scheme on this one. I mean, look at that top. Look at that finish. That's great. Okay, now let's look at another blue guitar. Let's go all the way down to the end here. This one is the KSA. 50 here. Of course, this is a, another semi hollow body guitar. Great classic style. And really cool thing about this one, it's got the flame blue transparent top on the front, also has it on the back and even on the sides as well. I don't know if that shows up on the camera there, but it's even got the flame maple siding there. It's got the standard humbucker pickups, Grover tuners, and uh, it's a nice comfortable weight. Pretty lightweight guitar for a guitar being 
this large, but of course the semi hollow body construction really helps with that. If I have a gig or something where you know I have to trick people into thinking that I'm a sophisticated jazz player or something, this is the guitar I go for. Okay, now another AIO guitar that I got fairly recently was this one here, and this has the uh, the cool graphic finish on it. Of course, there's a, a lot of other different finishes that these guitars come with. Now, if you can see here, the pickups actually have the graphic on them, so a little bit difficult to see, see the pickups. You can kind of see it there if I hold it at an angle. But the thing about this guitar, this is just a great 22 fret Strat style guitar, and the pickups and the construction of this guitar uh, are really great. This thing sounds really, really nice, and something I've been doing lately is when I record heavy rhythm parts, I've actually been enjoying using a single coil guitar for those rhythm parts. It gives it sort of a more percussive sound to it. And I did an instrumental song recently where I doubled some of the rhythm guitar parts actually with this guitar. It came out sounding really good. Now I know this sort of printed finish is a little bit polarizing to people. Some of them love it, some of them don't. Uh, but the uh, playability and the tone of this guitar is, is pretty much undeniable. Okay guys, now we're going to go to the last guitar here, and this is the last, but definitely not least. This is the Wolf TC1, and this, uh, you know, this is probably my favorite Telecaster style guitar that I have ever played. I mean, look at this thing. It's got a walnut top. You've got these cool Wolf print inlays here on the fretboard, which look really awesome. And look at this back, guys. Look at this. You know, multi-piece neck here. It's a neck through Telecaster. A nice matte, uh, you know, satin finish on the back there, all over the guitar actually. Just so smooth, so cool looking. And not to take away anything from the other guitars, but this one is just sort of in a class of its own uh, when it comes to the, the kind of the fit and finish and I think overall craftsmanship of this guitar. This guitar, like all of these guitars, is right in that four to $500 range and I would put this guitar up against, you know, a guitar that costs several thousand dollars. Now, personally, for me, I'm probably going to replace the bridge pickup with like a dual blade humbucker type uh, single coil spaced pickup to give it some hotter sounds from the bridge pickup. But again, guys, the fretwork and the neck and the overall feel of this guitar is, is just uh, really fantastic. Okay, so which one of these guitars is my number one favorite? If I had to choose just one, I would probably go with the 2019 edition of the WLP. But these are all really solid, really great guitars. Now I'm gonna put my individual reviews for all of these guitars in the comments section below. But one thing to keep in mind, as far as the price goes, all of these guitars are in that $400 to $500 range. And I would love to hear from all of the other AIO or Wolf owners out there, which one's your favorite of the ones that you own and what has your overall experience been owning those guitars? I would love to hear about it. Check out the links in the video description below for the guitars and my social media and uh, instructional video, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you in the next video.